People don't realize how many places there are still to explore and things that we can do to help our planet and to help each other. When I was first approached to be on this expedition, I was excited. We learned that I would be the first non-Indigenous woman to make this canoe crossing across the Everglades. Willoughby, he was taking water samples along the way in order to kind of look at environmental health. So what we wanted to do was to mimic the water samples that Willoughby had taken on his expedition. So I'm just taking the water quality parameters, so temperature, pH, salinity, um, conductivity. I think we will find contaminants um, as well as microplastics. A lot of these are endocrine disrupting chemicals, so very low levels can affect our endocrine system and our hormones. And we'll be comparing the basic water samples back to what Willoughby found. It will be interesting to see how it changes over the course of the Everglades and if the mangroves and seagrass are able to take some of these contaminants out and how they're flowing through the system. able to collaborate with other faculty on campus. So these samples are also going to be analyzed for antibiotic resistance genes as well as looking at eDNA. Um, so with eDNA we're able to look for endangered species but then also invasive species. So hoping to kind of see you know what's out there that we couldn't see visually. I'm hoping this won't just be the team here at UF's research. You know, we're hoping that you know, other scientists who are in these fields can use this as a jumping off point to look further at this so we can really move this science forward.